It is startup draft season, and boy, I got the itch. I'm in a couple startups right now, and man, I just, I love drafting so much. But typically, the route I go in my startup drafts, I'm the guy that likes to plan things out carefully, look at the future, look at my opportunities now, maybe even go in the productive struggle route. But the thing I rarely do is draft a win now startup team. So I dug into the numbers, I dug into the players, I dug into the ADP, and I looked at building the perfect, the optimal win now team. Let's dig in. Garrett Price here, Dynasty Nerds YouTube page. And yes, we are going to be looking at the perfect startup draft for a win now contending team to win the ship year one. So I dug into the ADP, right? Looking at all these players, and I'm sure there'll be like some graphics that like pop up or whatever, but here's what I did. I looked at guys at roughly me drafting at the 106, okay? So that means in the first round, I'm taking the sixth overall player, 19th overall player at the second round, which is pick 2-7, so on and so forth. And I picked players that were pretty darn close to the ADP. Almost all of them, with a few exceptions, were usually after that ADP spot. So you know with pretty good certainty that you'll be able to get that player. Now, every draft's different. Everyone looks a little weird compared to who's drafting where and who's doing what. But these are just some general results that you could absolutely replicate to build a win-now team or pretty darn close. Okay. Let's start off with our first pick, pick six in the draft. This is a super flex league, no tight end premium, super flex league, uh, which is becoming a much more common, much more standard format. Uh, and we went with Jamar Chase here. Now, just because you're a win now team doesn't mean that you have to always go with the older players. And especially in the early parts of your draft, you're going to be able to get your cake and eat it too. That's right. You'll be able to get a younger player that will also help you win now. So I went with Chase. Now, normally in a startup, I'm going with a quarterback because I want that longevity. I want that premium position in those super flex drafts. You want those quarterbacks. But you'll see as the draft unfolds, we're going to utilize some of the ADP knowledge that we have. And there's some pretty darn good quarterbacks that you can get later on in your draft. So let's move on to pick number two. This would be pick 19 overall. Uh, Sleepers ADP has this guy right around pick 15. Uh, Dynasty Nerds ADP, though, has him right around 21, so somewhere in there. But we're going to take Jonathan Taylor. Yes, he was the number one running back two years ago in fantasy football. A little bit banged up this past year, but you can get him roughly in the second round. You love getting those good running backs. If you're a win-now team, those running backs are really what can propel you into a fantasy championship. So now we've got two players that are still fairly young, but are going to help you win now in Jamar Chase and Jonathan Taylor. We get to round three. We're going to go a little older here. So this would be pick 30 overall. The ADP on sleeper for this guy is 36. Dynasty Nerds, 41. We're getting Cooper Cup here. Another player, former number one overall player at his position. And he was looking like he was going to be doing that again last year, except injuries derailed him. The whole Ram season was a mess, but it sounds like Matthew Stafford's back and healthy. Cooper Cup's going to be back. He could easily still be a top five wide receiver for the next year or two, and that's what we're getting him here. We're going to be able to get him, though, as our wide receiver two behind Jamar Chase. Round four, pick 43 overall. Both Dynasty Nerds and Sleeper ADP have him exactly the same. Pick 46, Najee Harris. In the past, I haven't been the biggest Harris guy. But look, this is great value for a guy that's going to get a ridiculous amount of touches this year. We're looking at around 300 touches overall in this offense, and there's not a lot of running backs that are going to get that kind of volume. This team improved offensively. Their young signal caller has you know a second year under his belt, a little bit more on the line than has been there in the past. I think Najee Harris in the fourth round is a great pick. So now we have two running backs and two wide receivers for our win now team. Round five, this is probably my favorite pick in the draft. If you're a contender, this is a guy I'm targeting over and over and over and over. Nick Chubb. 
Nick Chubb in the fifth round. That's pick 54. Sleepers ADP has him at 53. Dynasty Nerds ADP has him at 55. So this is the perfect range right in here to get yourself some Nick Chubb. Yes, he's been a running back one year after year after year after year after year. But on top of that, Kareem Hunt is gone now. And they haven't really done anything to insulate that position for a third down back. So what's that mean? Either Jerome Ford's getting a lot more work, which is possible, or we're going to see Nick Chubb on the on the field a little bit more on third downs in the past, which I think could absolutely be the case. But even if not, this part of the draft is an excellent value for Nick Chubb for a contending team. So we've got three running backs and two wide receivers at this point. It's a super flex league. You're saying, Garrett, you still don't have a quarterback. How are you going this late into a draft and you still don't have a quarterback? Well, I got Kirk Cousins, Captain Kirk here at pick six for me. 67 overall. Sleepers ADP has him right around 71. Nerdered, we draft quarterbacks a little more aggressively. So we had him at 60. We get ourselves a very steady, reliable quarterback that every year is the end of the range quarterback one, but nobody ever likes him. Nobody ever wants him. And look, this is a prove it year for him. They're looking to potentially move on from him. Now, there will be a team that will scoop him up if he moves on to a different team. So it's not like this pick is one year and done. This is a great range for a player that's been as consistent as Kirk Cousins has. All right, let's get into our seventh round pick. Pick 78 overall. His ADP, you're getting him here easily. This was the one that, like, I might have even been able to push him around later. But I wanted to make sure we got him. Pick 78 overall. Sleepers ADP has him at 89. We have him at Dynasty Nerds at pick 90. A wide receiver won last year. That is getting his starting quarterback back. That's Amari Cooper. This is such good value. Amari Cooper this late is crazy to me. And like I said, you could probably even wait a round and still get him. And look, so right now your starting lineup without making any trades or anything is at quarterback Kirk Cousins. Then at running back, we have Jonathan Taylor, Najee Harris. And then at wide receiver, we have Jamar Chase, Cooper Cup, and then Amari Cooper. So we're crushing, but we're going into round eight. And guess what? There's a guy that's slipping in drafts because a little bit older, a little bit of uncertainty if there might be a small suspension at the beginning of the season. But now we're going to add Alvin Kamara to our group. That's right. So now we have actually four running backs. I forgot Nick Chubb. So we've got Jonathan Taylor, Najee Harris, Nick Chubb, Alvin Kamara. What a running back room. Four guys that could legitimately be running back ones on a per-week basis all on your team. If you want to win a startup, that's how you do it. You get four guys like that. But you're like, Garrett, this is a super flex league. You still only have one quarterback. Yeah, I'm good because guess what? In round nine at pick 102, his ADP on sleeper is 119. His ADP with nerds is 112. So I'm even overdrafting him slightly, but I'm getting Aaron Rodgers, that's right, Mr. Rodgers, Mr. MVP, a guy that's been the number one overall quarterback and a quarterback one year after year after year after year. That's right. I'm getting him here. New team, new weapons. It's going to be awesome. So now I've got Aaron Rodgers, who's probably actually my quarterback one, Kirk Cousins, who's my quarterback two, and I've got all these other weapons. I've got three receivers. i got four running backs. You know what? We need a tight end. That's okay. Round 10, Darren Waller, pick 115. That's right. Darren Waller is going to be a focal point of this offense in New York. They traded for him for a reason. It is one of the weakest wide receiver rooms in the NFL. They are going to target him early and often. And then at pick, you know, in the 11th round, in the 12th round, pick 126, 139, and get myself a little Cortland Sutton. We don't know who the wide receiver one is going to be for Russell Wilson but it could be Cortland Sutton. Maybe it's Judy, but it could be Cortland Sutton. And you're getting here, him here in round 11. And Jimmy G to round us out because we want to make sure we get that third quarterback here in the super flex leagues. Now, look, I know that there'll be more picks after this, but I don't want to I don't want to go on and on and on. But here's your starting lineup, okay? Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, at running back, Jonathan Taylor, Najee Harris, Nick Chubb, Alvin Kamara, wide receiver. You've got Jamar Chase, Cooper Cup, Amari Cooper, and Cortland Sutton, and then a little Darren Waller for your tight end action. That is how you win your league right from the jump in those super flex startups.